Hi, I'm Dr. Bill Cushing, and this is the second video on Insurance Basics in our medical billing series. Another term that you will frequently hear in healthcare is the term indemnity plans. That's right, indemnity plans. This simply means that an insurer will pay for covered medical service incurred by a policyholder. The policyholder can usually see any physician he or she wishes to see. The insurer pays the usual fees the physicians charge for the provided services, usually without any significant discounts being given to the insurance companies. Therefore, it is also called fee-for-service. This is another term you will frequently hear. Under fee-for-service indemnity plans, health care costs have been difficult to control. So alternatives such as managed care organizations, preferred provider organizations, have been instituted by health care insurers. These alternatives create networks of physicians who contract with the health care insurers to deliver services to an insurer's policyholders at discounted fee schedules and with the need for the insurer to pre-authorize certain services before they can be done by a physician. If a pre-authorization is needed and not obtained, the insurer will not pay for the service. Before the advent of Obamacare, these alternatives had a positive impact upon reducing health care costs while maintaining quality. After the implementation of Obamacare, it appears as if many of these cost containment and quality achievements have become undermined. Indemnity plans have specific requirements that must be met before an insurer will pay for any covered health care services. One, the services charged for must be medically necessary. Two, all policy premium payments must be current. Three, any deductible amount tied to the policy must have been reached by the policyholder. Now, a deductible is an amount that the policyholder must have paid for medical services before coverage kicks in under the policy. Some deductibles can be in the thousands of dollars. Four is coinsurance. Coinsurance will limit what amount the insurer will pay. Coinsurance is the percentage of each claim that the policyholder must pay. A coinsurance rate of 80-20 means that the policyholder must pay 20% of the costs of the charged medical services. The insurer is responsible for paying the remaining 80%. And five would be copayments. Now, copayments are an additional cost to the policyholder. This is a fixed fee that must be paid to the medical provider at the time of a visit. Copayments were initiated as a way to encourage patients to use less medical services, a way to control costs. Now the next video will go through a couple of examples of how indemnity policies calculate insurer and patient payment obligations. Well, I hope these short videos help you. Have a good day.